First leg of the six-up race number five. Big jackpot going in as well. We'll confirm the details in a second. But uh, the fifth event, class four over the 1,400 metres, headed by Good Few, dropping back into class four. He has a good record. in traffic also back in class four company for the second time. Ran well to start before. Witness Hunter, a last start course and distance winner. Fortunate runner, a last start uh, course and distance winner as well. Destin from the 12 up to the 1,400 metres. He's second up behind complacency last time out. Marla Mojo's on debut here for Tony Millard and uh, Victor Wong. Gautin of Gara, runner-up behind Superstar last time out and Supreme Witness. Um, has been rolling forward. He's come up with barrier 10, though, here. Matthew Poon will ride. As far as the uh, back and forth from Chung Fry is concerned, good for you. And Radiant Bunny um, have been up and back within the last 30 days, Brett. Expecting a decent pace here um, with horses like Super Fun, Supreme Witness to roll forward. Fortunate runner from barrier three this time should get right in behind the speed. Intrepid's got five likely to posse up. Gowton of Garrow, Destin may be caught a little bit wide. Uh, Marla Mojo not expected to be in the early firing line. Uh, good for you, he's been downgraded and he hasn't had much luck in his last couple of starts. I think he's uh, ready to run a big race. He's been up to Chung Far and back, he's fit. He's only a little horse, but he'll get a little claim there with Jack Wong aboard as well. Uh, he's going uh, nicely in the mornings. Uh, Intrepic, another one who hasn't had much luck in his last two starts. A uh, couple of trains as a jockey. He's now um, Callum Murray will jump on for the first time, but he's got barrier five, so he should posse up nice enough. Uh, we saw the um, speed map there. The last one we thought I'd show you here was this, just replay this one with the right choice and Witness Hunter. Focus on Witness Hunter this time. He's the one closest to us. Another one that seems to have improved since his last start win, so expect a big run from him as well. And the Warm Jar Handicap, the it Panasonic is. IH. Warm Jar Handicap. Looking forward to that. Certainly are, yeah. You can explain what that is uh, later on as well. 6.8 million going into the, uh, the jackpot here, so an estimated dividend in the region of the $12 million mark for uh, six up players. We will start our search for the winner with Fortunate Runner and Supreme Witness, and Fortunate Runner was a winner last time out. He was, and there was good money for him early in betting. There's good money again for him early in betting for this race, particularly on a place line. He's got 10 extra pound to carry with Douglas White taking over from Vincent Ho, but he's got the good barrier on this occasion. And he does look a horse that's had just over half a dozen starts now and looks to have some progress in him. He's by Tavistock, so I wouldn't have thought stepping him up in trip would have been an issue either. No, I was surprised they kept them at 1,400 metres. Mm. I, I probably would have preferred him over 1,600. OK, all right, we'll move on to, uh, to Gowton of Gara, who's yet to win in actual fact, but uh, wasn't too far away last time out, with not uh, not getting all the breaks either behind the, the debutante superstar. Yeah, he sort of was on the dirt at the end of last season and then first up as well and then onto the turf and ran well, so he's versatile in the surface that he likes and he does give the impression he's not far away from a win. Um, the barrier was a little bit awkward as we saw in the speed map. There is the chance he could get caught wide from gate number eight, but uh, one to consider for the TT players, etc. Yeah, they don't really know where he sits because they've tried Happy Valley. Yeah. He's run okay there. They, he's run okay in the dirt. He's run okay here. So, as you mentioned, he's versatile, but from that draw, I didn't put him in. Mm. All right, left him alone. Witness Hunter. Um, good win last time out. He's been back to the trial since. Nice quiet trial here from Witness Hunter. You can see him just scooting along the inside there. And uh, look, I think this horse has improved since that win. He's a nice big strong horse. The game run as a griffin last season. He's come out and he's gone well. You can see him hitting the line strongly here. So he'll do me. Yep, same. I think there's more progress to come from him. I like the way last start he probably hit the front maybe um, a little fraction too early and he was sort of sitting there uh, uh, like waiting for something to run over the top, but he was able to fend off all the challenges and find the line well. So um, if there's more improvement to come, it'd be hard to beat. Certainly will be, yeah. And he's our favourite, uh, Paul, on top for you? Yeah, he's on top. Uh, to beat City Legend, I think City Legend can run another good race. He's been very consistent this season. Just can't get his nose in front. It's six seconds from his 14 starts now, City Legend. Good for you as the downgrader. And in traffic has been the horse that's been unlucky uh, recently. So four, five, one and two. Nice race, this one, I thought. Yep, tried to keep it as simple as possible. Have the four on top as well. Think he's a nice horse going forward. The five city legend has got a good finisher. Fortunate runner's got a good barrier. He's in form. And Intrepid gets the drop in class. And he's had the two runs now. This will be his third. So four, five, six and two. And four on top for me as well. Witness Hunter, my cue is four and six as opposed to the four and five of the boys. That was race number five.